What's up guys? I have another fountain pen video and um, I was actually kind of thinking about everything that <laughs> all the videos that I've shot so far and you know realized that you know what a lot of people probably don't even know how to use fountain pens. Um, well you know obviously people searching for videos they won't really come across these videos unless they're interested in fountain pens or they already know something about it uh but you know maybe for my general subscribers who have no experience with them you know they're not gonna have any idea about what the hell is going on so i figured i would do a set of videos you know basically like a primer for fountain pens fountain pen 101 if you want to call it or at least that's what i'm going to call with these videos i'm going to try and keep them in you know shorter segments i know the videos that I've put up so far and the videos that I've recorded for fountain pens, they've been pretty long. You know, they've gone from like 15 to 20 minute averages and I know a lot of people don't really want to watch a video for that length of a period of time. So I'm going to try and keep this set of videos shorter to hopefully hold the interest of someone just happening to come across these videos. Um, YouTube is a great source for fountain pen information, you know, two great YouTube channels for fountain pens, you know, would be um, Stephen Brown's channel, uh, it, I think it's S-B-R-E Brown, uh, and Rachel and Brian Goulet's channel, uh, I think Ink Nouveau. Um, both channels are great for fountain pen information, general information, more advanced stuff, uh, whatever, reviews, ink reviews, pen reviews. Um, for me, you know, right here I have two of my most recent favorite pens, uh, Lamy 2000 and a Pilot Custom 74. Um, in this video, I'm not going to go into that much detail other than how to write with a fountain pen. And it may seem kind of silly, it may seem kind of simple, but in my experience, a lot of people nowadays, they don't really know how to write with a fountain pen. Like they haven't, they've never even really seen one in person. They may see it in some movies or on TV or, you know, I believe, you know, when people, do, like, I think the Pope uses a fountain pen, I don't know. That just kind of came up to mind because, uh, you know, the whole Pope election was, uh, it happened this past week. But writing with a fountain pen is very simple. There's nothing magical about it. There's nothing complicated, nothing difficult about it. Uh, I'm just going to set the line to the side. Basically, with a fountain pen, you're writing with that. Uh, it's not going to focus because I'm using my regular digital camera. But you're writing with the nib. Um, uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the construction and components to a pen in this video, but basically all I can say is you write with a fountain pen the same way you would write with any other pen. There are some differences though. With a fountain pen, you do have to make sure that you align the nib properly up against the paper, and you have to make sure that you don't put a lot of downward pressure. Now, some pens are more forgiving than others. Uh, with some pens, you can put a lot of downward pressure and you won't really damage the nib because, you know, generally stainless steel nibs because they're like nails. Uh, you can put a lot of downward pressure. You can use carbon paper with them and you won't do any damage. Uh, with some softer nibs, though, um, not necessarily just with gold nibs, but even with steel nibs, some of them can get sprung where basically the nibs of, the, you know, the tines of the nibs, they kind of get bent upwards, um, like, and then they get set there, uh, especially if you, you put too much downward pressure on it. A lot of people end up springing their nibs when they try and do flex writing with a pen or a nib that isn't really all that flexible. Um, most nibs you'll see, uh, you'll see there's that hood hood there, you know, it's very ornamental. Uh, there there are different size nibs on this, this is a pretty typical medium size. Um, in up some other pens, you know, Parker's are good examples on the Lamy as well. Oh, I hate not being able to focus it, but I wanted to keep these videos short. But you can see, like, this nib is actually kind of hidden. It's hooded. It's very pointed. And uh, and then there's actually, you know, metal covering it. You know, they, people consider this a hooded nib. Regardless of whether the nib is hooded or not, or what shape it is, it's the same concept. Generally, the section... Uh, it's not that easy to see on this pen. But... You know, you the you know that's called the feet. That plastic piece there. Sometimes it's ebonite. That's the part that you want to keep facing downwards on the paper, with the hood. You know, the nib facing upwards. And if I get a piece of paper, you can see that when you have that sort of alignment with the nib facing upwards, the pen writes very smoothly. Um, different pens have different sweet spots. 
Uh, with some of them, you know, the angle matters. Uh, with this nib, the angle doesn't really matter as much. I could have a very high writing angle and the pen will still write. I could have a very low writing angle and the pen will still write. And I could actually have the pen go off a little bit to the side. Um, still writes. Other pens, like the Lamy 2000, the sweet spot is actually very small. Uh, it's very sensitive to what kind of pen angle you're holding it at, as well as how you align the nib. Um, with certain pens, you can write with the nib upside down. Uh, you can see here, I can kind of write nibs write with this pen. I can kind of write, not really, I'm not putting any downward pressure. It's not really made for it. Uh, certain nibs, like on Lamy Safaris, a lot of people suggest that you can write upside down with it and it's okay because it is a very stiff nib and you won't really damage it that readily. I generally don't feel comfortable doing that with gold nibs though. Um, just, I'm just a little nervous about bending them I suppose. Um, but you can write with some pens, not all, and I definitely would not suggest it for any pen um, unless you know that it can do that. But you can write with the nib upside down to get a much finer line than you can with writing it normally. Um, Angle of the nib doesn't really matter for most nibs. Uh, there are oblique cut nibs that do kind of matter what angle you're writing it at. For me, my general writing, uh, it's you know, it's the nib is slanted to the paper. You know, let me actually write something. I can't actually talk and write at the same time because I can't split my concentration that way. Uh, I know other people they do like to keep the nib actually perpendicular with how they're writing but like I said with most pens it doesn't really matter that only really comes into effect more when you're using a nib for flex writing you're using an italic nib or using an oblique nib which I will get into in another segment uh, one key thing and one thing that I have mentioned in some of my previous found pen videos is you need very little pressure to write with a good pen and notice I didn't say a, an expensive pen because you can have inexpensive pens that require very little pressure to write with. You see here I'm just barely holding the back of the pen and I can write with it. So that basically means that when I'm writing I'm not putting any downward pressure on more than I need to have the pen write. Uh, because what happens is if you force too much downward pressure, you can bend the nibs, uh, you can bend the tines of the nibs and cause the nib to spring. So, and also what happens is um, when people put too much downward pressure, they have the tendency of actually feeling scratchiness of it because that's the tine spread. Uh, the tines can kind of catch on paper that isn't super smooth. And you may feel that it's actually scratchy when it really isn't. You just really have to lighten up, you know, your pen hand. And like I said, uh, cost doesn't always matter. Granted, this pen is a $160 pen, um, street value in the US. Um, you know, but let's say something like, I've put this in a video before, my Parker 21. This is like a $10 pen you get off of eBay. And it would basically, might be a little dried out, I haven't written it a while. With, you know, just the weight of the pen itself, no downward pressure. So long as you hit the sweet spot, the pen will write. Uh, and, you know, that's one of the positive, one of the reasons why I do like fountain pens is because you don't need a lot of downward writing pressure to write with them. Uh, writing with a fountain pen, it doesn't matter whether you're a lefty or a righty or what angles you hold it at, depending on the pen. Um, there are many fountain pen users who are left-handed, and one of the big concerns is, you know, the ink will smear if you're left-handed because your hand may actually run across it. I know lefties, they'll write over hook or they'll write underhand. Um, but because it's not that constrained, it doesn't matter what hand you write with and what angle you write with. And because you don't have to use a lot of downward pressure, um, you know, you can generally have your hand hover instead of necessarily having the hand resting up against the paper. So yeah, that was uh, part one. In terms of this series as a whole, if you guys ever have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily just leave comments because I can sometimes miss over comments but I will always see messages or tweets so if you have any questions feel free to ask and if it's something I've covered in a video I'll refer you to that video if it's something that I feel is video worthy I may make a separate video altogether or if not I can always just respond back with an answer and I do want to kind of remind you guys that I'm not a super expert when it comes to fountain pens some terms I may use are incorrect or not exactly right but this is just from my own experiences and from what I've learned in the past few years of using pens. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.